Melanie Kinnaman. Next, from Friday the 13th, the final chapter, we have Kimberly Beck. From Friday, I can. From Friday the 13th, part two, please welcome Amy Steele. And from both Friday the 13th, part one, and the next Friday the 13th project, please welcome Adrian King. So what we'll do is we'll uh, field questions from the audience. If you have a question, please raise your hand. If I call on you, if you would, just stand up and try to project as loudly as you can so that um, we can hear the question. Um, I'll often repeat the question so everybody can hear it if, it if we think people couldn't hear the question. So we'll go first row, Mr. Jason. You had a question? Uh, just <laughs> It's, it's just like an auction, like you can go like this, and it's like, okay, you bid $3,000, you're like, no, 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 it's way We need panels. Okay, question. Right here, sir. Oh, you do have a question. Oh, you're really friggin' confusing the shit out of it. Okay, so, as each of y'all wanted to be set All right, so the question was, has anyone ever gotten hurt during the filming of a Friday the 13th? And a follow-up question was, oh, have some, did something, I guess, memorable happen to you while filming a Friday the 13th film? Well, I've never been injured, thank God. Especially doing the chainsaw scene, because it was a real chainsaw. So. That was the issue. They were more concerned about how I might hurt Tom Warder. Because <laughs> he's a stunt guy, so we rehearsed for days with that chainsaw. Because Tom kept saying to me, please, don't, don't hurt my arm, don't take an arm off. And blah, blah, blah. <laughs> so we practiced and practiced. So nobody got hurt, and I didn't inflict any pain on anybody. Okay. Um, I did not get hurt. I had a lot of bruises, and was freezing cold because it was in December or January in Topanga Canyon and it had to be drenched and it was freezing. But um, no, thankfully, Ted Wyatt was pretty amazing with me. I think I owed him. <laughs> <laughs> um, Steve Dash, RIP. Oh. I really kicked the shit out of him. <laughs> <laughs> so somebody did get hurt. I did the inflicting, and um, basically because I have really bad timing when uh. adrenaline starts pumping in your body, and you say wait to three, and then by two I was slashing him. So um, that happened, and uh, but yeah, the memorable scenes um, was just when Jason was coming through the window. That was. That was really uh, emotionally uh, trying for me. For me. <laughs> and well, just to be different, yes, I got hurt. <laughs> uh, the retractable ice pick in part two, it mm. was the last day of shooting and everybody had, uh, it was a skeleton crew. And so the prop master was gone and so some guy delivering coffee, I guess, uh, was put in his place and forgot to check the retractable ice pick. Oh, no. And they had it aimed twice because the first time it did not retract, so I had a hole in my teeth. And they aimed for that little piece Ooh. and uh, second time worked. And then uh, in the first one, Betsy and I both walked off the beach 
bruised and battered because as I shared with you today, it was like no stunt doubles and if there were, we wouldn't have the, the, the amazing spite scene that we did have and we both, she was the one who said, you're not gonna hold back, I'm not pulling any punches, you're gonna get hurt if you don't fight back. So, God bless Betsy Palmer uh, for those brilliant words and uh, we all miss her and think about here right now, but um, yeah, the memorable is just beheading poor bets, you know? <laughs> That'll always be an incredible moment, and still, as we all know, stands the test of time. Thank you very much, all of you. So, yeah, that's, that's it. But um, nothing more than that. I mean, I, it was just a little wound. <laughs> Kim, I had heard a story with, during filming, um, that Ted White was kind of took on the role of uh, protector, maybe, of the cast. Like, uh, he had told me that uh, there was one scene, I guess, that was filmed where the girl was in the water, and he said it was like exceptionally cold, and, and it got to the point where he thought that the director was pushing the limits more than they should have been, yeah. and like he stepped in and kind of. Yeah, Ted was like the dad. He was very sweet and rest in peace. And um, I mean, he lived a very long and fruitful life. Um, but yeah, he was an advocate for all of us. And you know, I wasn't on the set when I think it was Judy Aronson. Yeah. Um, yeah, they were shooting that stuff, and I wasn't in that. They were doing all their killings and all that. Um, <laughs> But um, yeah, Ted was just, he was very sweet and serious and he, he would tell me to just go for it with him and I, I think I did hurt him a couple times because I went for it, like you said, for me too. But he was just such a sweet and protective, um, wonderful man. Right, like old school gentleman. Yes. Yeah, yes. yeah. Um, I mean, I had done a lot of other stunt stuff in other shows, like Rich Man Poor Man with, uh, I think his name was Bill Smith, and I think he has since passed on. But um, he really hurt me, and that was a much different, you know, yeah, I was on a set. It wasn't even outside or anything, but I did get really hurt. But, um, like, my neck, you know, thrown around a bit. This wasn't like that. I mean, it, the, it was just the elements and the constant rain and being wet and, you know, that to me was the hardest part. I mean, still, if I get into a cold shower, I'm like, oh, I remember that. <laughs> it was like a sense memory of, of such trauma of like knowing that you're going to get watered down and it's 35 degrees out and you're gone. <coughs> What then happened to all of us? I was soaking wet, <laughs> 30 degrees, and I was running. Yeah, the whole time. And that's what we do. Yeah. <laughs> some of us. But they didn't touch that. <laughs> <down. laughs> and for some reason, it's all, I mean, like, too bad they didn't film it during the summer. Yeah, they never do, by the way. It's no. always winter, or in LA, it's yeah. always fall. That yeah. was 80 during the day and 30 at night. Yep. Yeah. Okay, who has a question? 